The Black Scorpion, 1957, directed by Edward Ludwig, starring Richard Denning, Carlos Rivas, and Mara Corday. In Mexico, volcanic activity unleashes a group of giant prehistoric scorpions that were previously dormant. Can a dashing geologist save the day and put an end to this eight-legged menace, or will humanity be on the menu? There's no real standout performances from the cast, but let's be honest here. People don't watch these kinds of films for the scenes with the people. Willis O'Brien supervised the special effects on this film, his most significant contribution to cinema being his groundbreaking and highly influential stop-motion work in 1933's King Kong. In true movie monster form, the giant scorpions show up at about the 32 minute mark. It's incredibly abrupt, there's no build-up leading to their reveal. Impressively, the scorpions are designed and animated very realistically, and even rear their tail skyward to attack like a real scorpion. Their faces, however, are comically monstrous and inaccurate. Other giant creatures appear later on in the film including a nightmarish worm-like creature a scorpion has a fight with, and a giant spider. These creatures were originally created for 1933's King Kong by O'Brien, but their appearances were cut from the film so they were used here. In classic American movie monster fashion, the only B-plot involves the main character trying to score with the female lead, who proves to be equally flirtatious and forward with him. There is more than a satisfactory amount of monster action in this film, which is exactly what you look for in titles like these. Verdict recommended. Yet another wonderfully pulpy offering from the 50s. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.